Hey, kia ora. Helen Brown's here coming to you live from Sun City in Arizona. Whew, what a day this has been. How has been your um, thankful Thursday? Has it been sparkling? I tell you, ours has been that and more and wild and wacky and so much to be grateful for. And I am just sitting here because I need to find out what this is in metric. Okay, so we are currently, it is not even 6 p.m., it's all, just almost 6 p.m., it's 106 degrees Fahrenheit outside. For my metric people, that's 41 degrees Celsius. It's hot. Inside, though, we are still in the 80s. We have not hit 90 inside the RV for today, which is good, but it means that I'm managing the window coverings well. Um, but this time next week, oh my gosh, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. This time next week, we will be so much cooler inside, not because our second AC unit has arrived, but more about that in a moment. So first, back to Thankful Thursday. What are you most thankful for this week? What are you most thankful for today? Well, did you get out today? Did you go and talk to those people who you wanted to say thank you to? Um, did you thank your employees? Did you thank your, work, your associates? Did you thank your business partners? Did you thank your vendors? Who did you give thanks to today to say thank you for being in my life? Thank you for being my client. Thank you for being my business partner. Thank you for being a great vendor. Who did you thank today? And what are you most grateful for today? Um, so let us know in the comments below. I had my first day entirely solo on the help desk today. It was awesome. It was crazy. It was wild. Um, there were all sorts of requests coming in. I just had a blast. And I didn't even get a chance to and now I've got to find the photo because I have to read something off this photograph. Um, I didn't get the chance. I'm going to have to post the photo of it. Because it's really cool. um, I didn't get a chance to even have a lunch break or anything. But I did find a couple of minutes to hop onto DoorDash. And I thought, you know, I haven't had pizza for a long time. And so I found this place called Pyology. And a friend of mine took me to Pyology. Um, where was it? Um, it was somewhere in California. And we had a great time made to order so this was my custom made pizza and I have to tell you this was the best pizza I have ever ever had um, and I discovered that my dog likes cauliflower so <laughs> yes I like cauliflower on my pizza but this is the best pizza I have ever had the flavors were um, were just incredible but it was a it was a gluten-free gluten-free um, pizza so it had a cauliflower crust had olive oil, pesto, mozzarella, ricotta cheese, mushrooms, pineapple, spinach, and bacon. And I tell you, those flavors coming together was like a happy dance on the on the palate. It was just an amazing blend of flavors. The crust was nice and crunchy, and Zephy loved the edges of them. With the, um, she liked the edges, so she would get the edges. Um, I didn't try her on the mushrooms. I don't know what dogs like with mushrooms. Um, but yeah, she tried the edge of that thing and uh, actually got her sitting on her cooling pad to try it. But as soon as she had had it, she was off. <laughs> she doesn't like that thing for some reason. But that was the most amazing pizza. It looked amazing. So I'm going to have to post the picture for you guys later. But um, some people go, yeah, no, I don't like that. Well, that's okay. That was my taste. I had a happy dance on the palate with that pizza. Um, so I was grateful that I had you know, just a couple of minutes to quickly order that this afternoon and then when it arrived it was sort of like jump up open the door grab the pizza say thanks to the guy close the door again, put it on the counter come back over answer a few more chats and then jump up and I was literally jumping up and down for about an hour um, just to get a couple of bites of pizza uh, like, and I think over here but I don't like getting greasy fingers on my computer so um, plus it gave me exercise jumping up and down and running over to the counter here, all of two steps. <laughs> have a bite of pizza, have a couple of bites of pizza, um, get the dog to sit so she can have her crust. But um, yeah, we had we had a very interesting lunch hour. It was an hour long with, um, well, actually no, it wasn't an hour long, it just took me an hour to eat about three quarters of the pizza, um, it's not three quarters, half the pizza. It's just a 10 inch pizza, so I got to eat half the pizza and I got the other half for dinner tonight. So looking forward to that, I'm going to see how it is cold, but it was awesome. So. I was appreciative and they got it here really fast they said it would be um, like 40 minutes and they were here in like 25 I was like, yes and then as my wild wacky day on the help desk is going on and there were like chats come they're flying in and then you get like a chance to catch a breath 
and um, you get up to go fill up the water bottle and you just start pouring the water, because I keep cold water in the refrigerator, just start pouring water into the water bottle and the chat would start dinging, ding, 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 ding. And I said, like, you got to be kidding me. And so um, finish that off, come back, sit down, da, 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 da. And then I realized I'd leave my water bottle over there, so I had to go grab that. It was a lot of fun. I had a blast. I was up and down so much, um, which kept which kept the exercise up, which was good. It was good. It was a lot of fun. Um, even had a couple of times where it was quiet and I was able to throw Zephy's toy for her a couple of times. Which, by the way, her new toy that she snuck out of the shopping bag yesterday, still the day before, still has its squeaker. It still has its squeaker. Um, and then um, the guy um, was meant to be here today to measure for the shades that go, the solar shades that go on the outside of the windows for the RV. And he turned up um, just after 3.30 and had a quick conversation with him. He went around, did all the measurements and stuff. He came back, gave me the price, which was way less than I thought it would be after looking around and seeing all the pricing and everything else. But this company had been recommended to me by a lot of people in my RV groups that I belong to. They were like the number one recommendation. And um, when he showed me the pricing, what it was be, I was, I was like, that's an awesome price. <laughs> Compared to what I had seen online, um, that was a really awesome, and I said that's I said that's everything the making of the making of it the installation everything he says yep I said let's get this done um, and so um, they, and I said now how soon can you guys get it installed they're gonna be here next Thursday so the countdown is on because um, I think it's either Saturday or Sunday we go below a hundred and then next week we're all up around a hundred to a hundred and three to a hundred and five or next week. So we only have to suffer a little bit longer, but these solar shades on the outside stop the windows from heating up and the heat radiating inside. He said the problem with the um, with the reflectors that I have on the windows, which is oh, let's go this, this silver stuff here, um, it's got a it's got a layer of foil and then it's got a bubble bubble wrap in the middle and then another layer of foil, which helps. It does help to a degree. He said, but. You're creating a solar thing between the glass and the um, and the reflectics because um, the, the heat's coming in the window and it's getting reflected on the um, on the silver thing that's getting back reflected back to the window and so you end up this little hot spot. He said, so they're not as efficient as people think. And I said, well, that's all I've got for right now and it's better than not having them on there. He said, true, true. Um, and so next Thursday, they're going to be here between one and three, I think is when they're going to be here. And they're going to be installing this, uh, the solar shades onto the, onto the um, all the windows on the RV, which is going to be awesome. Um, and they've already told me that on these slide windows, these end windows here, that they can't put the normal twisty turny locks because the slides slide in, and the twisty turns stick out to slides to be able to slide in. So the, he's a, he says, he says, I hate having to do this, but we have to use the button snaps. So I don't like the button snaps, but we have to use them. And I said, and I do have to take the shades off before we close up the slides. It's like, absolutely. So, um, yeah, I can't wait. So next Thursday between 1 and 3, they will be here to install the shades, which will make things in here a, little, a lot cooler. I have um, met different people around the, RV, um, around the RV parks and stuff who have these solar shades. And I wanted to actually go for, um, for grey. And he says, no, the grey is actually a lot lighter than it appears on the website. Um, he says, the darker the colour, he said the... Um, the more you're able to see outside, but the less people are able to see in. And he, he said, if you go to the lighter colors, um, he said, even the gray is, is and I said, because the gray online looked like it was as dark as the gray that I have on my RV, and pointing up to the stripes and the roof and all that sort of, and the front. And he turns around, he says, he says, he says no, he said, it's, it's very, very light, which is going to make it difficult for you to see outside. And Zephy's, Zephy came and laid out by the recliner, and I'm standing in the doorway talking to this guy. She never even came and tried to get past to talk to this guy. She's got the pimp with me right now because I won't open up the, because I covered up her window with the reflectors to help keep it cool in here. Um, <laughs> so she's not happy with me right now. Um, plus it's also hot and miserable inside as well. Um, and so she was, um, and so I said, no, I need her to be able to see out the window. So we're going with the black, because with the black, um, you'll definitely still be able to see outside. And um, and he said, but you've got the black rubber rims around the around the window, so it's still going to look fine. So um, it's like, yay. So I was like thinking, okay, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 
seven sleeps. I've got seven sleeps until that gets installed and we can have it a little more bearable. But people who I've spoken to who have these particular shades from this company, they said they are lifesavers. They're able to get rid of the reflectics off their windows. They are able to um, enjoy the daylight coming in again without the heat. Um, they say it's a lot cooler inside with the, with the shades on the outside. And, um, and one of the guys that I talked to, he says he only runs one AC unit in his unit, which is, I think it's longer than one. I think he's got a 37, I'm 34, 32. I think he's like 37 feet. And he said that out of, he only has, needs to run one AC during the time. And I'm like, oh, yes, I only have one working AC. Um, but mine's on order and should be here in a couple of weeks. So I'm kind of excited about that too. So, um, so next week I get the shades put on. The following week, fingers crossed, the, AC, the second AC unit arrives. And then we'll have a nice, cool, relaxing environment where I'm not going to be um, done because of the heat. <laughs> so I'm looking back forward to having those... Um, those nice cooler, uh, nice cooler environment to work in and to sleep in um, because I sleep so much better in the cold. <laughs> but yeah, so the countdown is on. Yay, countdown is on to shades. Yay. And when they, um, after they've been put up and everything, um, we'll go out, we'll do, a, we'll do a live, probably do our evening live from outside so you guys can see them on there. Um, but yeah, I'm still going to have to put the reflectives up on the front window, but... I don't have to use the four foot tall one. I can use the, um, I think that one, three feet? Yeah, I've got four foot tall reflectix in the front window right now and it goes right up in front of the cabinets that um, overhang the dashboard area. And so that whole front end where the glass is is completely, um, it's got the reflectix completely on it. Um, and I have a like, a, like a one that you get in the car that just um, folds up. I have one of those which is three feet tall but is designed to go across the width and since I don't have a working blind, in fact I don't even have a blind at all up front up there, um, that's going to be awesome to have that folding one there because it means that I can, um, that I don't have to worry about, um, about putting a blind in right now. I don't even know if I will replace that blind or not. I haven't decided on that yet. But um, anyway, so that's our exciting day today. Um, we're going to go for a walk in about an hour. We've been finding going for a walk around 7 o'clock is really, really nice, no matter how what the temperature is, because there's always a, um, a wind blowing at that time, which makes the heat outside bearable. Um, but if it's sort of like after about 10 minutes, she's like tongue hanging out the side there. and Although she's still trotting along, like all this energy, wanting to play with all the things. But then she stops and she starts panning and her tongue's hanging out the side. So I'm sort of like... I gotta carry a water bottle for her when we're out, but then it's sort of like, but then I need one too, so we'll see. Maybe I'll put a little backpack thing on for that. We'll see, I don't know. But then she's kind of if I turn around until I've time to I said, Do you want to go home and get some water? She just turns around and starts heading back towards the RV. So and she's done her business by that time, so we're good to go. But anyway, that's it for us for today. Let us know in the comments below what you're most grateful for today. Um, um, who did you thank today? Who are you grateful that is in your life today? Um, in your business, everything else, and go out and have a super fantastic sparkling evening. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, ring the little, click the little bell if you want to be um, notified whenever we post new videos. Have a super fantastic sparkling evening, and we'll see you guys back here bright and early tomorrow morning for Fun Friday. Oh my gosh, my calligraphy set's at the mail place. I just suddenly remembered I'm supposed to be doing calligraphy, and my calligraphy set has finally arrived. It arrived today. So I'm not going to have time to do my calligraphy this week. But we will do it for next week as well as whatever I pull out of the tin tomorrow morning. So have a super fantastic sparkling evening. Catch you all tomorrow morning for um, Fun Friday. Hey, Korera!